Hi friends. Welcome to Kerala Edusta. If you are watching the channel for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Then share it with your friends and relatives. If you like the video, please like it. Today our class Kerala syllabus is the first unit of the English subject of the class. Let's go to the video. Unit 1. Aspire to win. The race. About the author, Nisha Punjabi is a freelance writer based in Lucknow, India. She completed her education, including her master's in business administration. She was employed by the Lucknow Times Daily Magazine of the Times of India as a freelancer. She blogs at shimmeringsinshin.blogspot.com. The race is an award-winning story in a sports category competition held by the Children's Book Trust, New Delhi, India, in 2001. Read and reflect. At the end of a game or a sporting event, we usually appreciate the winner or the record breaker. Shouldn't we encourage the losers too? Let's see what happens in the story. Read on. The race. Tarun was a mediocre student. His grades could barely satisfy his parents, and he was not a good singer, dancer, painter, or even an actor. He always thought of himself as the black sheep of the family. His elder brother, who was pursuing a degree in engineering from a reputed college, always made the family proud. But Tarun was never good at anything like that. However, he was blessed with the strength of a great athlete. He was an excellent runner. He would run for hours, be it day or night. Whenever he felt sad and lonely, he exhausted himself by running, thus releasing all his pent-up emotions. At times, he would miss his school bus and would then run to school, which was five miles away from his home. He just had one dream to become the fastest runner in the world. Tarun did not know how to achieve his dream. On the one hand, his parents hated his running and wanted him to concentrate more on his studies. which he never did on the other hand he belonged to a middle class family and tarun knew that to achieve his dream he needed an intensive training the amount for which was well beyond his family's reach when tarun failed in his terminal examinations his father was very angry with him his friends too made fun of him it was a day he wanted to wipe out from his memory and so he took to running he ran all around the park the sun beat down to check his rage but nothing could stop tarun After about an hour, he was fully exhausted and his fury having subsided, he threw himself on a bench and started panting heavily. Suddenly, he heard a voice at his elbow. "What is it?" "Son." Tarun turned to his left and there sat a man of about 60. "I failed in two subjects." He replied in a depressed tone. The man smiled sympathetically and said, "Life is full of ups and downs, my boy. By the way, I am Ram Narayan." and you are one of the best runners i have ever seen ram narayan ra m narayan are you the same ram narayan who won an olympic medal in the 400 meter race in the 1960s tarun could not hide his excitement yes pat came the reply tarun was dazzled son i have been watching you for the past 45 minutes continued ram narayan and i see a good future in you tarun could not help but blush All you need to do is keep that passion burning in you and never give up. Have you joined some training school? The man inquired. Tarun's smile faded and he seemed distraught. A training school is very expensive, sir, and I am unemployed, said Tarun, feeling happy that he could joke even in these circumstances. But Ram Narayan seemed pretty serious. I will train you if you want, but I put forward a condition. What is your condition? Tarun's voice showed curiosity and anxiety. There is a race on Children's Day at the Nehru Stadium. Children of your age are competing there. If you participate and win the race, I promise I will start training you," said Ram Narayan. "That is no big deal. I can do it, can't I?" thought Tarun. "I will, I will, sir." He heard himself saying with complete conviction. "Fine, boy. It is my job to get your entry in the race and remember, yours to win it. Tell me." What is your name? asked Ram Narayan. Tarun. Tarun Kapoor. Sir, Tarun. I will meet you here after 5 days to give you your participation card. All the best. said Ram Narayan and left. On the way home, Tarun thought that if his father had not scolded him, he wouldn't have got this opportunity. The next day brought a new ray of hope. 
Tarun got up early, had milk and before his mother could finish her query on what he was up to, he ran out and went to the Nehru Stadium to check the details of the race. He was very happy indeed. Tarun started practicing zealously. Every day, he would get up at 4 in the morning and run up to 10 miles. In the evenings, he would time himself according to the 1000 meter distance prescribed by the competition. He wanted everything to be perfect. It was for the first time in his life that he was demanding such perfection in things he did. He thought. He also wanted someone to back him up and so he told everything to his mother. Tarun practiced vigorously for five days and then promptly met Ram Narayan to collect his participation card. He gazed at the piece of paper on which his name had been printed boldly. It meant so much to him. However hard, I must win this race, thought he. He wanted to show his father that he was not really the black sheep of the family and that he could be good at something at least. It was the 14th of November. Bowing low for the blessings of his mother, Tarun pedaled away to the stadium. There was a huge crowd waiting to go inside. Tarun entered the office where a signboard read, participants only, with his heart beating faster every second. Inside, there were about 50 participants waiting for the race to begin. He felt someone patting him on the shoulders. Hello, Tarun. It was Ram Narayan. All the best, he said affectionately. Tarun smiled at him but did not say a word. Fear had gripped him from head to foot. All the participants lined up. All the participants lined up. Every face glittered with the hope of winning the race. Each one of them had his family and friends in the stands to cheer for him. To his amazement, Tarun caught sight of his mother. In the stands, the fear in his eyes gave way to confidence. The whistle blew and all the participants started off with all their might. They were all determined to be the winner of the race. In the lead was the fastest of them all, Tarun. Seeing himself ahead of everybody, Tarun felt very proud of himself. On the track there was a shallow path. As he was running fast, Tarun did not notice that and he slipped. Breathing fast, he saw the other kids going past him. He could not be a loser today. And so without wasting a second, he got up to run once more. Being quick, Tarun overtook a few kids ahead of him. But as fate had it, he slipped once again. What was happening to him? He could not bear it. He looked into the crowd and saw his mother. She was saying something to him. Get up, son. Get up and run. Tarun got up once again. He was among the last few. But he did not give up. Once more he overtook some children. Since he was fretting a little too much, he fell a third time. Tears were rolling down his cheeks. How will he get into Ram Narayan's training now? How will he prove to his parents that he was talented? He was the last kid on the track now. He turned his eyes towards the stands. Then he heard Ram Narayan screaming from somewhere. Come on, Tarun, run. And so he got up a third time. This 12-year-old determined boy, who was last on TH. The crowd was cheering for Pawan, the boy who had won the race. But to Tarun's surprise, there was a louder applause when he crossed the finishing line last. The audience cheered for his determination and his valor for never giving up. He bowed his head with shame and said to Ram Narayan, I am sorry, sir, I lost. No, son, to me you have won the toughest race, the race of your life. You got up and started afresh each time you fell. You are a real life hero. Your training starts tomorrow. Tarun could not believe his ears. Tears filled his eyes again. He smiled at his mother who hugged him and said, You are the best son in the world. One. Who do you like more, Tarun or his brother? 
Why? Every individual is blessed with some abilities. Tarun is a mediocre student as he cannot get high grades. But he is a fine athlete. His brother is very studious. So it is unfair to compare one with the other. 2. Why did Tarun think that he was the black sheep of the family? His elder brother, who was an engineering student, made the family proud. Tarun had no special ability to make the family proud. So he thought himself as the black sheep of the family. 3. What were the obstacles before Tarun in pursuing his dream? Give some suggestions to solve these. Tarun's parents didn't share his love for running. They were a middle-class family. So they could not afford the huge amount needed for an intensive training. 4. It was a day he wanted to wipe out from his memory. Why? Tarun longer wanted to remember the day he failed in his terminal examinations because his father had got angry with him and he had become a butt of ridicule among his friends. 5. What made Ram Narayan say? Life is full of ups and downs. Ram Narayan probably wished to pacify Tarun who was depressed and thought of encouraging him by this general statement about life. 6. Do you think Tarun's meeting with Ram Narayan would change his life? Explain. It was turning point in Tarun's life. Nobody had recognized his talents so far. Ram Narayan was the first person to acknowledge him as a promising runner. Ram Narayan offered to Tarim the boy. Thus it was a great moment in the life of the boy. So I think Tarun's meeting with Ram Narayan would change his life. 7. Complete the conversation. 8. What made Ram Narayan say that it was his job to get Tarun entry in the race? When Tarun announced his willingness to participate and win the race, Ram Narayan thought that it was his duty in return to get him entry into the race. 9. How did Tarun prepare for the race? Tarun got up at 4 in the morning and practiced zealously every day, running up to 10 miles. In the evenings, he would time himself according to the 1000 meters distance prescribed by the competition. 10. He also wanted someone to back him up and so he told everything to his mother. Do you think this kind of sharing will help him face his problems better? Why? Tarun was a 12-year-old boy. He lacked self-confidence. He needed somebody's support. This would boost his confidence. The unexpected presence of his mother in the stands was a great relief. Her active support was marvelous. Ram Narayan was extremely generous in helping Tarun. He discovered the great athlete in the boy. 11. Why did Tarun really want to win the race? Tarun wanted to show his father that he was not really the black sheep of the family and that he could be good at something at least. 12. Tarun felt very proud of himself. What made him proud? At the beginning of the race, Tarun was ahead of others. So Tarun felt very proud of himself. 13. If you were Tarun, would you finish the race or give it up? Why? I would certainly complete the race. Participation comes first. Winning comes second. This is the real goal of an athlete. It is the basic principle of sportsman spirit. 14. Do you think the presence of his mother and Ram Narayan helped Tarun in finishing the race? Give reasons. Definitely. The presence of the mother and Ram Narayan helped Tarun to regain his determination and confidence. The two were in the crowd. They applauded him and urged him to get up and run. 15. You have won the toughest race. The race of your life. What did Ram Narayan mean by this? Ram Narayan meant that Tarun had been trying hard to do his best in the race in spite of falling thrice by getting up again and again to complete the race. He also hoped that Tarun might face the problems of his life too in the same way. With determination and willpower, such persons would meet with success in life. Tarun was such a real life hero. If you understand this chapter. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you.